Let's take a look at this problem. Which statement about the quadratic equation below is true? Negative 3.2x squared plus 28.8 is equal to 0. So we have four answer choices. The equation has no real solutions. The equation has an infinite number of solutions. The equation has x equals 3 as its only solution. Or the equation has x equals 3 and x equals negative 3 as its only solutions. Quick reminder of the word the word solution means. Solution means that it makes the left hand side and the right hand side the same. So we're looking for values of x that will make the left hand side of the equation equal to zero. We have three ways we can go about doing this. We can try guess and checking. We can try creating a graph and we can try creating a table. Let's take a look at guess and check first. Now, Guess and check only works if we have some values to actually check. So the only answer choices we can check through guess and check are C and D. We can check C by turning on our calculator. And we're going to substitute the value of 3 in for x. So x is equal to 3. That means everywhere we see an x, we're going to put a 3 in parentheses in our calculator instead. So negative 3.2. Quick reminder, you're using the negative button instead of the subtraction button. So again, the negative is below the 3. So negative 3.2, parentheses. Since x is equal to 3, we're going to put 3 in parentheses. And then we're going to do an exponent of 2. Press the right arrow key to get out of the exponent. Plus 28.8. Press enter. And if equals 0, yes, that's excellent. That means that 3 is indeed a solution. So, so far, this one checks out. Now, the problem is it says as its only solution. So, we need to check D now as well. So, let's go ahead and check D. D means we're going to check 3. We've already done that. It works. Let's check negative 3. So we get our calculator, and we're going to go negative 3.2 parentheses. In this case, negative 3, since we're checking negative 3 for x, to the power of 2, plus 28.8. Press enter, and it equals 0 as well. So great, it looks like d is the correct answer choice. Now notice I say looks like, because one of these possible answers was has infinite number of solutions. That means it could have infinitely many solutions. So it looks like D's it, but we can't be 100% for certain. So let's go ahead and check a graph to see if we can check it that way. So again, we know that this side of the equation should be equal to 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to type this side of the equation in for y1. So you type your y equals button, and we're going to type in negative 3.2x to the second power plus 28.8, and press enter. And then we'll press the graph button. So when we graph it, we see this shape. It starts to go up, it goes off the screen, and then it comes back down. The important part is we want to find out where that graph hits 0. And you'll notice it hits 0 right here. It has a y value of 0 right here and right here. It looks like negative 3 if you count over and positive 3. So it's a pretty good indication. Since the equation is equal to 0 at negative 3 and positive 3, we know that D is the correct solution. Again, you can check that just by finding out where that graph hits the value we're looking for. It's the value of 0 at negative 3 and positive 3. We can also check that using a table as a third way by going second graph. So again, second graph, and we can check negative 3. Negative 3 makes the equation equal to 0 and positive 3 makes the equation equal to 0. So three ways to check your solutions on these. 
here's one for you to try. Actually, here's three for you to try. There are three different types of solutions. Go ahead and pause the video, work all three of them out, and press play when you're ready to see the answer. It is important that you work all three of these because each one's going to show a different type of solution. So for the first one, if we check all of the answer choices, it looks again like D is going to be the correct answer choice. Because both negative 8 and positive 8 check out. Notice that was a negative 8 and a positive 8, which was a typo a second ago. Okay, so we can also check that by typing it into our y equals screen, negative 7.8 then you hit the X button squared plus 499.2 we hit the graph button and it looks like the line's gonna hit 0 at negative 8 and positive 8 you can also check that on your table by going second graph and you can scroll up notice negative 8 hits 0 which the equation should be equal to 0 and we scroll the other direction positive 8 equals 0. For the second one, I checked the first value of x equals 9 and that didn't work, which means neither c nor d could be the correct answer. So that left us with a couple of options. It's either a or b. Now, when I typed the y equals, I typed out the equation 6.5x squared plus 526.5 and hit graph. I noticed it didn't really show up on the graph at all. So there's a way to fix that. We can go zoom and you go down to zoom fit. So again you press the zoom button, go down to zoom fit, press enter and you'll notice the graph dips all the way down. It looks like it might touch the axis at one value right around zero but not a hundred percent clear so let's go to the table if you look at the table remember the graph looked like it hit right around zero you'll notice that the y values don't get anywhere near zero around an x value of zero so it's pretty safe to assume that for number two there are no real solutions And for the last one, I typed in the first solution, x equals 5, and that one checked out. It gave us 0. But for the second one, negative 5 did not check out. So it looked like initially c was the correct answer. We could try typing it in the y equals screen and graphing it. And the graph doesn't fit too well. So if you want to get back to your standard window, you go zoom standard, z standard press enter and it looks like the graph dips down and touches the axis at just one two three four five at just one point and that point right there is at five so we can check that on a table and verify that five does give us a value of zero 